We've known about preeclampsia since the time of the ancient Egyptians who actually have hieroglyphics on some of the, um, some of the uh, pyramids in Egypt depicting women with preeclampsia. But for many, many, many centuries, we've understood very little about the, the cause of the condition. We now know that it starts in the placenta. And these are two placentas. Um, the one on the left is from a healthy pregnancy, and the one on the right is from a lady who developed preeclampsia at 28 weeks. You can see, obviously, that there's a huge difference in size. And our thinking around preeclampsia now suggests that small placentas um, leak substances into the, the maternal circulation, into the mum's bloodstream, which cause her to develop high blood pressure and uh, cause, her uh, cause her kidneys to leak protein. So this is just a video made by the Preeclampsia Foundation. Preeclampsia, seven symptoms every pregnant woman should know. If you're pregnant, you and your baby are at risk for a life-threatening condition called preeclampsia. Preeclampsia affects one of every 12 pregnancies and can cause seizures, stroke, and organ damage for mom and premature birth for the baby. Both mom and baby could die. Globally, preeclampsia and related disorders are responsible for 76,000 maternal and 500,000 infant deaths each year. This condition is related to blood pressure and can happen to any pregnant woman, especially during the second half of her pregnancy or up to six weeks after delivery. Preeclampsia can strike quickly, so it's important to know the symptoms and report them to your healthcare provider as soon as you notice them. If you experience any of the following symptoms, call your doctor or midwife right away. One, swelling of the face, especially around the eyes and swelling of the hands Swelling of the feet is more common in late pregnancy and probably not a sign of preeclampsia. 2. Weight gain of more than 5 pounds in one week. 3. Headache that won't go away, even after taking medication for pain relief. 4. Changes in vision like seeing spots or flashing lights, partial or total loss of eyesight. 5. Nausea or throwing up, especially suddenly after mid-pregnancy. Not the morning sickness that many women experience in early pregnancy. Six, upper right belly pain, sometimes mistaken for indigestion or the flu. Seven, difficulty breathing, gasping, or panting. Having symptoms doesn't necessarily mean you have preeclampsia, but they are a cause for concern and require immediate medical evaluation. It is also important to know that some women with preeclampsia have no symptoms. The only way your doctor can diagnose it is by monitoring your blood pressure and protein in your urine, so keep up with all your prenatal appointments. Preeclampsia can also impact your long-term health. It's a risk factor for heart disease and stroke. Be sure to tell all your doctors, present and future, if you have a history of preeclampsia. Now that you know the symptoms, spread the word. Take the preeclampsia pledge, know the symptoms, spread the word. Brought to you by the Preeclampsia Foundation. Learn more at www.preeclampsia.org. 321-421-6957. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. So that's a, a really helpful infographic from the Preeclampsia Foundation, who do a lot of public advocacy work trying to raise awareness of preeclampsia in the antenatal population. And, but what I'd particularly like to highlight is the, the connection with long-term health. Anyone who does have high blood pressure, preeclampsia in pregnancy, is advised to have regular health checks, uh, particularly around the time they get to the menopause, because there is a very strong association with a, rec with a recurrence of high blood pressure around the, the menopause, and the consequences of that can be quite significant if it goes unchecked. Very quickly about treatment, there are no currently useful screening tests for preeclampsia, which is why we are so obsessive about checking blood pressure and checking urine on every antenatal check. Um, usually, not to alarm anyone, usually preeclampsia is mild, but occasionally it can develop early and be severe, which is why it's important to keep all those antenatal appointments. There is no cure other than delivering the placenta, and that obviously means delivering the baby. So that sometimes can mean the delivery of a preterm baby, and in fact, preeclampsia is responsible for about 20% of all preterm births. Aspirin in the next pregnancy can reduce the risk, and aspirin is now being trialed for, uh, for uh, use in first pregnancies in women who have one or more risk factors. And as a flag, the Preeclampsia Foundation are a very useful source of information.